As you can see, we're in Minecraft 1.20, and I'm about to teach you how to download and install X-Ray for Minecraft 1.20 so you can see all the ores just like I'm doing it. And make sure you watch this video until the end because I'm going to teach you at the end how to make these ores shine instead of being dark like it would be if you just install X-Ray without following along this video. So let's go ahead and start. Now guys, the first step to downloading and installing the X-Ray texture pack for Minecraft 1.20 is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to our website where we have a written tutorial on how to actually do this. Now, I'm sorry in advance, I don't have a face cam on. I usually have a face cam, but my camera is dead right now, so I can't use a camera for this tutorial. However, for the future, we'll incorporate the camera back on. Now, once you're on the website, of course, you could read through the guide. We have everything in here on how to download and install the X-Ray, even some frequently asked questions at the end. But if you're just following along the video, all you have to do is to scroll down and click on the button that says download X-Ray. That is going to redirect you to CurseForge, to the CurseForge official website. And in here, you're going to be in the files page. As you can see, you're in the files page for X-Ray Ultimate. Now, we are looking for the 1.20 version, right? But if we check in here, we can see that the most recent version is 1.19.4, okay? It might not show the 1.20 in there. However, if you scroll down a little bit, just a little bit, you will see that there is a Minecraft 1.20 on the recent files. And you can go ahead and click on that. That is going to redirect you over here where you're just going to click download. Now, this is for the Minecraft 1.20 uh, as it is, just 1.20. But I'm pretty sure that this will work in the future. So if you're watching this video and you Minecraft 1.20.1 is out or 1.20.2, whatever, this will work, okay? So go ahead and download that one, the 1.20. Now go ahead and minimize your Chrome browser if you're using Chrome, and then go ahead and drag and drop your X-Ray file into the desktop. As you can see, we have X-Ray on the most recent downloads. If you click this little arrow on Chrome, then go ahead and drag and drop that into the desktop. Now we have X-Ray, the texture pack for Minecraft. Now the next step is to actually launch Minecraft 1.20. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the Minecraft launcher, wait for that to load. It's actually loading on my other screen. Let me bring it over here to the main screen so you guys don't get confused. There we go. So go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. Give it a second for it to load. And then we're going to look for Minecraft 1.20 and we're going to launch it. As you can see, I have Optifine 1.20 selected in here. And that is a video that is coming up. So make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell if you want to start Optifine. However, for this guide, we're just going to use the regular 1.20. So go ahead and open your regular 1.20 Minecraft. Go ahead and click on play and wait for Minecraft 1.20 to open. Now, while Minecraft 1.20 is loading, I do have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a server where you could use X-Ray without getting banned, because keep in mind that using X-Ray on public servers is illegal in most of them. Unless you're allowed by an admin, you can't use X-Ray on public servers. But if you wanna create your own server where you can play with friends, either on Java or Bedrock 24 seven with 24 seven support, and like I said, use X-Ray without getting banned, Apex Hosting will allow you to do so. They will actually create the server for you and they will add any mods that you want. They would make the server however you want. And for those of you that decide to create your first server with Apex Hosting using the first link in the description, you will get a 25% off discount if you create your server right now. I don't know how long this offer is gonna last for those of you, so go ahead and take advantage of it now. And now let's go back and check if Minecraft is already open. Now that Minecraft is open, what we're going to do is click on single player, or you could try this on multiplayer, but like I said, unless you own the server, either you make it yourself or you have Apex Hosting created for you, I don't recommend using X-Ray on multiplayer. So go ahead and click on single player. We're gonna create a new world for this. We're gonna name it uh, actually X-Ray, so you guys don't get confused. X-Ray 1.20, and we're gonna create a new world. But once you're inside the world, as you can see, we're in a 1.20 world, you're gonna press escape, and you're gonna head to the options tab. In there, you're gonna look for resource packs, which is right here on the bottom left. Go ahead and click on that. And in here, you should have nothing selected rather than the default on the right side, right? So what we are going to do to add the 1.20 is click where it says open pack folder. Go ahead and click in there. That is going to open a folder that might be empty or might not be empty, but for most of you, it's probably going to be empty. And I'm actually going to delete this X-ray, which is already outdated, it's 1.19. And what we're going to do, you guessed it, we're going to drag and drop the X-ray ultimate that we downloaded earlier. So go ahead and drag and drop that into there. Now you could go ahead and close this folder, open your Minecraft back up, and as you can see, the X-ray ultimate shows on the left side. Go ahead and click on the little play button that appears on top of it, and then click done. Go back into your game, and as you can see, if we go back into Minecraft, we have X-Ray already working. We have X-Ray working on Minecraft 1.20. And I know many of you are saying, let me go ahead and change myself to uh, creative so we could go down uh, deep. I know many of you are saying that you don't see the ores in color. You're seeing black ores. As you can see, the ores are very dark. And that issue has a simple solution. Let me go ahead and change myself actually to spectator mode because I feel like that is going to be better. So this problem actually has a simple solution. 
Now you could either increase the gamma of your game within the options file within the installation of your game to the max so you could actually see the scores better. Or you can actually just give yourself a night vision effect, right? Like let's say that you uh, drink a night vision potion in the game. Well, that will actually make you see. So let me go ahead and give myself night vision. So you guys can see, if you, if you drink a night vision potion in the game, which you could easily craft, you will actually see all the ores, right? And another way that you could fix this issue is actually by installing Optifine. Installing Optifine will actually fix this issue for you. And like I said, we have a video coming up on how to install Optifine 1.20. So you actually could fix this issue without having to do anything in the game, without having to craft an night vision or without having to do anything else. Really just by installing Optifine, you could actually play with shaders and you could see the ores shine. So yeah, make sure you watch that video next, which should probably already be up and should be coming up on the screen right now. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.